Welcome everyone to today's episode. It is Wednesday. I'm probably super late. It's evening around, oh, well, eight in the evening. There's still light outside, so I'm not too late. And we wanted to check out the update today. So today we got the new batch of Frisians in. And by the way, this background is amazing. Like I hope, oh, I hope there's some kind of scenery maybe in the works, or I don't know if this is just a background image, but I'm, I'm in love. The mountains in the background, and it's just beautiful. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're gonna go check out the new Frisians. We're probably gonna check out these bridles if something interests us. And then, of course, we have uh, the show jumping that we will also do. But first, I'm probably gonna buy at least one horse um, let's see, where are they? Why is my map showing me anything? Is this an update? I guess Fort Pinta. In Moreland, there's a new quest. So that's, yeah, that's where the jumping is, of course, with the bobcats. So we are going to go head over to Fort Pinta. Or maybe, I probably am wrong. I probably should, oh, of course, I'm so stupid. They're not in Fergo, if they're in Jarlheim, where the other Frisians are. Ah, okay. You're all the popular ones. So, it's really crowded. Everybody's writing their Frisians, even the old models, yeah. I think that's great. And everyone who doesn't like the new Frisians and prefers the old models, then more power to you. <laughs> then stick to what you like. But anyway, so yeah, I really like this model. When I was the same with you. When I saw the trailer, I was freaking out because I didn't like it because the animations look really bad. But I think they might have reworked it or did the best they could. And honestly, I'm really happy about it. Okay, so everyone's standing here, so is this the one? Yes, this is the one with the star. And so the difference between him and the completely solid black one, if you can see here, is he has a little star on his forehead. And he has in the back, he has two white um, socks. And yes, I think I'm gonna buy him because I also think I want him kind of for role play. Because in my head, the Frisian that I have now is sort of like the broodmare. And so I thought this can be one of her sons. And of course we have Brilliant. I don't have a single horse that begins with Brilliant. Let's see if we can find something. All right, so I went through everything. I think I'm just gonna call him Brilliant Magic just because I don't have a Brilliant and I don't think I'll ever find another name that really fits with Brilliant. And so there we go. Congratulations on your new horse. So yeah, he's kind of gonna be like the son of the Frisian that I'm currently riding, of the solid black one. So my mind, she is, uh, where is she? She's standing somewhere. Where is she? Oh, over here. Yeah, so in my mind, she's um, like a purebred Frisian, 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 and what's up? I thought that was just a random horse, but it's a player horse. I deactivated the player names because I figured it was going to be kind of crowded here, and if I can't see the horses or the names. All right, so currently I own three horses, three Frisians now. I might get this one in the future because I also kind of like it. Um, it also with the old model, this I always thought was kind of a striking color. Uh, the chestnut I don't have yet and the gray, like I said, I, I think grays are kind of pretty, but I never end up riding them because I find white is kind of a boring color. I can't really do a lot with it or actually can do really a lot with it, but yeah, it's just not for me. But it's still really pretty. All right, um, so I might come back. I'm not gonna buy this horse just yet. I might come back later on, although he doesn't have love. Everyone's surrounded by 
with the other black one. So we might get this one too. All right. Um, then <laughs> I'll see you back in a second. Uh, yeah. So we will go back, check out our horses, and then go maybe buy a new bridle and check out the race. So let's, we can't go back. There we go. Let's go back, check out the new Frisians. I might change the mane again because the super long mane, even though I love really, really long manes, they look so gorgeous. But yeah, the animation is just a bit off. It looks kind of... I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of it, so I might just change it, and then I don't have to be annoyed by the animation. So Star Stable might change it, but that might take a lot of work animating every single... Oh, look how cleaned up my stable is. All right. All the bays aligned for... I was thinking of an upcoming video of explaining horse coat colors and how they work, and so I kind of sorted all my bays, but that's still... Bean. Uh, yeah, I'm still editing that. All right, a brilliant magic. Should we take this horse out first? Although it would be nice to have a horse with a long mane, just one, but eh, it just the way it's bending. And when a horse stands still, even in the stall, um, his mane like floofs out for no reason. Like, just spreads out. Let's see if we'll do it. And that's just... I mean, here, if he's just standing still, it's fine. But once he's in a faster motion, then it just goes out. Or even when they rear. Or I get off. No. That was not planned. Did they fix that a little bit? It doesn't seem to look as bad as it... It did. They might have fixed it or might have worked something on it. Do you know anything about that? Maybe. So let's check out the new bridles. They said they had them in the global store. Hello there, gorgeous. Eh, can I go up? There we go. All right, let us check this out. So this is one of the new bridles. It is a leather bridle with silver on the side doesn't really fit this horse or you can have this black with silver on the side I think that looks really cool and I don't have one of these bridles I have a hackamore then of course you have the one with horns in leather which is also nice but I think if it just had one horn just this horn here that'd be amazing um, I think three horns is a bit much unless you had like entire attire entire attire uh, like entire medieval outfit and saddle and everything then it might look really cool but just the bridle itself looks a little lost um, here that's very cute is this also new yeah this is also one of the new ones leather with um, blue stones in it this one has purple stones and yeah I think that's it so these are the six new items that you can go for. She looks pretty cool in a way. Hmm, I'll think about it. But um, this one I actually really like. And I think he looks really fancy in it. So I think we're gonna go get it. 9,000, oh, way, way too far away from there. Sometimes if I'm close with the amount, I might save up. But this I'm thinking about getting to, but I don't know, sometime in the future. So we have our bridle, so let's see if we can fit a nice outfit to it. Like I said, I'm probably going to use a jumping saddle because I just think it looks like it would fit these horses a bit better. And let's get some fancy do this or hmm. All right, so here we have our outfit. So I just used the same a saddle pad from my other Frisian that was wearing it. And I also added the leg wraps. And yeah, I think he looks snazzy. What do you think? All right, so we are just for 
sun, we are gonna check out other mains. Yeah, the running just, uh, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, all right, let's check out other mains real quick. Oops, there we go. I wish we could have a different angle. That'd be so nice. I can't see enough. So of course we have the braided mane. Every Frisian comes with the option of doing the braids. They are on both sides though. I was just pointing with my finger. Of course you can't see that. Um, yeah, so the long braid strand goes on both sides and that's also really pretty. Then of course we have this option of the short mane. I actually seen a post recently on Instagram with short mane and it doesn't look like a Frisian, but it might be good for role play. If you don't want a Frisian, you want a different horse that's um, maybe some kind of draft horse, warm blood mix cross. Um, might be interesting for role play. Then of course these braids, which I also think are super cute. And then I think we have to go to the other side to see the longer manes, which of course we can't. So this is the mane that I have on my other mare. So of course we don't want that. So the only option I would have would be these braids or these things, but I think I think for now, I'm just gonna leave it long and see if I get used to it. Maybe I'll get used to the long mane and just kind of tolerate it. Oh, hi. Are you a friend of the Bobcats? I could really use a hand. Are we? I guess we are. My name is Stacy and I just moved to Moreland. Since I used to be in a riding club with Loretta's cousin, Eliza, she and Tan invited me to join the Bobcats. I'm so lucky to have a new club to train with. But if I'm honest, the training regime here is a bit lacking. The cross country tracks are great, but a truly exceptional club requires discipline. We need a proper schedule routines to help horse and rider prepare for any competition formats they might encounter. Loretta has agreed to let me host Cavaletti and show jumping classes here in the paddock. Oh, that sounds cool. That's how we become our best, by lifting each other up. We practice, uh, with practice, the Bobcats will be stronger competitors than ever. And since you earned a Bobcat jacket, that means you're one of us too. I'd love to train you. But first, I need more cones to set up this course. Have you seen any around? When you find them, bring them here so we can start my very first class. Sorry about the reading. I don't know my glasses on. Um, yeah. All right. So we are going to collect the cones, I believe. I'm so excited. So Cavaletti training, she said. And so let's, let's see. Do, 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 do. First, we collect the cones. There are a lot of wild horses out today. Oh, oh, fuck you. Come on there, buddy. I wonder how much experience they'll give us. So, where are the other ones? They are here. We completed the quest. Now let's give it back to her. Thank you, there should be plenty of cones to work with. All right, let's get the next quest. Now it's a very simple exercise. I just wanna see how you handle it as I've never seen you ride before. Have a go and we'll see if you're ready to enter more advanced training sessions. Well, I do have a beginner horse, but yay, we finally get XP. All right, this seems easy enough. I like how they're pink, so they fit with the bobcats. Let's get it back. 
Yes, there was no really for me to worry. You did great. If you want to enter another class, you're more than welcome. Okay, so was that one of the races, I wonder? Daily training, Bobcat's beginner jumping trail. Yeah, so I think this is um, basically one of the races. Um, so I've already shown you that. Now let's continue. Let's say obstacles. Stable is happy to meet. Apparently the shade of green is used by club rivals, the bulldogs. We can't have that. Okay, so we are going to repaint these poles. Can we do that on horseback? We'll see. Nope, we can't. Dismount. Paint, paint, paint. We can't have these looking like bulldogs. I don't. Oh, by the way, um, if you guys have seen the new horse on Instagram, the spoiler picture of the pony, I foolheartedly I wanted to make a video about it, but yeah, life got in the way. Um, I definitely believe that's an Icelandic horse. What do you guys think? I've seen Victoria Bree's horse. She said that was a Welsh pony, and Welsh ponies, I believe, have too much of a back on my horse. I'm really bad at multitasking. They have a different head shape. Like it's kind of curved and Icelandics have super flat heads and they have smaller eyes which are located high on the head. And I've seen some um, pictures of that pony with grayscale version and with different coats and it just looks exactly like an Icelandic. So here we have our next race. I kind of jumped into that. I'm sorry. But anyway, so are you guys looking forward to the new pony that's going to come out? So that was the second competition. Yeah, and so I, I just think, sorry, I kind of breezed through the race. I should have focused more on the race and less about Icelandics, but Icelandics are my favorite horses in the entire world. If I could move to Iceland and only work with Icelandic horses for the rest of my life, I would do it. So, um, so that's why I'm a bit Icelandic crazed. Oh, and here we have the professional jumping course. This is cool. Okay, this time I'm going to pay attention. You get my full focus here. So this is a nice course. And I always thought it was a shame that they had this nice arena, but no races that we could do here. I think it's good that they have it added an extra jumping set. And you definitely earn reputation with bobcats if that's what you're interested in. Oops, I missed that one. Come on. Brilliant magic. Focus. There we go. So those were the three races that you can do. And the first day that you do them, of course, since they belong to a quest, you can all do them again as a race. And so you can get more XP for your horse. So that was that. All right, so we have today, we've got the beautiful new Frisians, which I was really excited about and I'm really happy about the two that I bought, these two fancy ones. We have the new Brattle Tack, so go check that out. You can either find them in Jarlheim or of course the shop, the global store. And um, we have these new races that I showed you. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really had fun making it, and I hope to see you guys soon in another adventure. Bye!